The conditional formatting feature is used to color items like emails, appointments, meetings that meet criteria set by you. Why would you want to color items? To make it stand out, to bring attention to you. So for example, if I get an email from Carrie that has the word haunted in it, hey, I'm all interested. I want to be able to have that stand out and read that first. So to go ahead and set this up, you can either right click in a blank area, and go down to view settings, and well, if you can't find a blank area, click cancel. Come up here, click on the view tab, go to the current view, and then click on view settings there and then come down here and there it is conditional formatting go ahead and click on it and we're going to add a new rule click on add and it's down below go ahead and give the name of it that's going to be the name of my new rule haunted so let's go ahead and click on conditions so it finds any email messages that has the keyword haunted either in the subject field only or both the subject and body of the message and then let's go ahead and click OK now when it meets that condition what do I want the font of the email message to look like? We can click on font, we can make it, ooh, gothic here. And then let's go ahead and choose a larger size, ooh, red. Let's change the color so it'll apply all that formatting. Okay, click OK, click OK, click OK. Ooh, fancy. So let's see, it says that this email has the word haunted in it. Double click, it's right there in the subject. Sweet. Let's go ahead and close out. You can also do it for items in the calendar folder, like appointments or meetings. Go ahead and select it, pretty much the same steps here. Come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Current View group, click on View Settings, and there it is, Conditional Formatting. Go ahead and click on that. Click on Add, and then give us the title here. Let's do Investigation, and then the color, we'll make it yellow. So the condition is, is that if it finds the word Investigation in the subject field only, go ahead and click OK. Of course, you've got other options. If a meeting was organized by somebody else and you accepted it, you can actually click on Organize By, select their email address, and click OK. And so it'll color that email, the person who scheduled the meeting that organized it, that you accepted. You can search for that too. Also, attendees. In any case, keep it simple here. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. There we go. Investigation. It has that in the subject, so it colored it yellow. And then, of course, if you want to go ahead and remove the condition, same steps. Just come back up here, click on the View tab, go to the View Settings, go down to Conditional Formatting, select it, delete it, click OK, click OK, and it's no longer colored. Back to the Mail folder, again, View, down to Current View, the group, click on View Settings, go to Conditional Formatting. You don't have to delete it. You can uncheck it and saying, OK, I just don't want to apply the rule currently, but I'd like to use it later, save it for later. Click OK, click OK, it removes it, and then of course, View Settings, Conditional. Go ahead and check it to use it again. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Click OK, and sweet, we're back to where we started.